With iRacing's latest build, it brings the addition of a brand new rallycross circuit for the dirt road community to dig their heels into. Lankbarnen, or as it is more commonly known, Hell Motorsports Park, is a tight and technical circuit that weaves its way around the Norwegian hills, close in proximity to the village of Hell. Now, this circuit is supposed to be for racing, but with the amount of amazing things located around the circuit, it's a little difficult not to find yourself doing a little bit of Gymkhana. With massive elevation changes allowing for jumps, a roundabout, and plenty of poles to get your Ken Block moves on, the circuit is plenty of fun without even turning a proper lap. But for today, we will focus on the slightly more standard way to approach the track, racing it. The configuration of the circuit we received on iRacing is the layout used in the FIA World Rallycross Championship. However, it was confirmed on the forums that Hell would be receiving updates over the next builds to push this out to a further 5 layouts, which will likely include the all asphalt layout of the circuit that was used when the track opened in 1987. However, even right now with only the one layout, the circuit can provide some incredible fun in the rallycross cars with an extremely fast joker into turn 1 and a very flowing nature throughout the track's 7 turns. The circuit provides a big challenge for both setup designers and drivers with an incredibly tricky opening to the lap with two consecutive hairpins, with the following hairpin being arguably the most critical corner on the circuit as it leads onto the downhill run through turn 3 and into the gravel section of turn 4. This is a very rewarding piece of road to get right as you slide your way through the transition between these two corners. Even for those that don't enjoy Rallycross, you may just find yourself with a smile on your face navigating the start to the lap. Sadly, I haven't been able to see how the circuit would hold up in races due to very poor numbers during officials in week 13. However, I have to say I do fear it could turn out to be a little bit of a one-line circuit with very little room to pass except for the opening two corners. This is the first traditional Rallycross circuit that iRacing has brought in with all the others being temporary layouts. However, the one-line nature is sadly a common theme for these purpose-built dirt road circuits. The benefit that Hell Motorsports Park has going for it is that the Joker is quite long in comparison to some other layouts used in Rallycross, so the potential to win or lose time with your usage of the Joker is quite similar to that of Phoenix. Expect to see that used as a hotspot during races to make positions and get that feature race win. Like many other circuits on iRacing with Rallycross, the idea is to be as smooth and clean with your steering inputs as you can, not overly sliding the car and throwing it on the handbrake into many dirt corners as some people tend to do. What I'll do now is I'll take you guys for a hot lap around the Hell Motorsports Park so you guys can get an idea on if this is a circuit you want to have as we cross the start finish line immediately into a jump into fifth gear but then hard on the brakes in towards turn number one second gear and just keeping a very tight line keep the car to the right side of the road to open up turn number two second gear using a lot of lock to fire the car out into turn number three then into turn number four slide the car onto the dirt there down to second gear again use all that inside curb to pick up traction and get yourself a run towards the very fast turn number 5, flick it from the right side to the left side to the armco, and then into the final corner we shall go once again hugging that inside curb and making sure you get the best exit possible to fire yourself back across the start finish line for a lap that racks up at a 37.3 at Hell Motorsports Park. The track sadly does not work particularly well for the Pro 4 trucks unless you really enjoy understeer. However, this could all change when iRacing releases the four new versions of the track over the next few months. Maybe there'll be something more suited to these two trucks. In summary, Hell Motorsports Park is a great addition to the Rallycross and Dirt Road community. However, it may not be the breath of fresh air for the discipline that many may have wanted. Week 13 numbers did not look strong, so I have to say this may fall into yet another dirt road circuit that is only used in strength of field races, which I feel is a massive shame, as I don't want iRacing to lose hope on the dirt road side of the site. Is Hell Motorsports Park worth your 12 US dollars? If you actively enjoy Rallycross, then yes, I absolutely suggest you pick up this circuit. However, if you are on the fence about the circuit after watching this video, I suggest you wait until the further four layouts are released to see if one of them tickles your fancy a little more.